What is up everybody and welcome to Support Gaming Network, I am Zimmy, and today we are going to be discussing Last Oasis, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you haven't already, you can check my streams out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6am PDT. Last Oasis is an MMO survival game currently out in early access on Steam. It is developed by a Polish company by the name of Donkey Crew. This is their first and only title and was established based on this IP. Last Oasis takes place in a point where the Earth faces a cataclysmic event and the Earth's rotation stops. Because of this, the planet was split into two extreme deadly environments. Only a narrow band between these extreme cold and hot environments can support life, and humans must migrate in order to survive. To keep moving, what is left of the human race has become nomadic and built machines called walkers and a walking city called the Flotilla. If you're a crafter, a merchant, trader, or a bloodthirsty thief, this game has a little bit for everyone. All servers are divided into what are called hexes, and each hex has its own unique layout. From trees, mountains, water sources, and sand dunes, each hex will provide you a different experience and resource. Furthermore, hexes are divided into three versions, the first being the starting hex, where each nomad or player will begin their story, and then the other two being medium difficult and hard difficulty. Each difficulty provides new and improved resources you can gather to craft and monsters called Rupu, and even harder monsters such as oversized crabs and sandworms. With the resources you collect, you will be able to build things such as weapons and armors, water supplies, crafting stations, bases, and walkers. These will be the tools for you to survive in harsh desert landscape of Last Oasis. As mentioned, not only can you be a crafter, but you can also be a merchant. Each of the medium and hard difficulty hexes will have a trading station. In the trading station, you will find many of the resources you can find out in the world that you can either buy or sell for in-game currency. Some hexes have items for sell cheaper in one place, but more expensive in the other. This is all based on supply and demand of a specific hex, so you traders out there get your merchant walker called a toboggan and get to trading. Lastly, there is PvP in Last Oasis. This can range from a small group combat, large scale combat, and if you're in the mood for stealing stuff, also pirating. Last Oasis is a full loot PvP game, which means if you die, you lose everything that is on your body unless you can come back and pick it up in time. Usually a player will be knocked out and have a timer before they can stand up again, but if they receive one more blow while knocked down, they will die. Not to mention, your walkers, chests, crafting stations, and bases all have HP, which means other players, if they have the right tools, can break into those and steal what is there. Now, over the course of the early access launch, the game has been plagued by a few issues that have occurred, not to mention some aspects that people feel that they have been lied to about. The first major one that I see constantly is solo players feeling that they have been lied to about the game. They feel that this is not solo friendly at all. While I understand some of those complaints, I do think some people run into a bump in the game and just say, this game isn't solo friendly. Overall, I do think this game is soloable, however, it is not easy. There are many things working against solo and small group players, and ones that I have run into myself, but I do think it is possible, but difficult. As a solo player, you will need to play much safer than someone in a larger guild, simply due to the fact that you are only relying on yourself. For example, if you want to create a base, you need to make sure it is completely hidden and not out in the open, or there's a high chance it is going to get broken into. PvP is much more difficult because there are larger groups, so people need to learn tactics such as guerrilla warfare to make sure that they are getting the upper hand. The one thing I think Last Oasis does well is the combat, simply due to the fact that you, as one player, can take out quite a few people if you know how the combat works. I have been in multiple situations where I have fought more than one player at a time and come out victorious. 
That said, I have also been in situations where me and my group of three had to fight 20 to 30 people and lost. That all said, Donkey Crew has mentioned this complaint from the players and do have plans to help alleviate some of the stress solo players feel, such as new update, such as a new update coming out that is creating another walker for solo players that will protect them while they are driving. Another major issue that occurred during its early access launch was massive connection and crashing issues. Last Oasis took a big hit to its potential high population simply due to the fact that their servers were not able to handle the player base that initially wanted to play the game. This ended up causing them to shut down the game for a week, and they hired a larger staff to fix the issues. This has mostly been fixed now, but this did leave a bad taste in a lot of new players' mouths. The last major issue that I want to bring up is the hackers issue. Recently there has been an increase in hackers appearing on Last Oasis. Now, first and foremost, as many of us know, all online game has hackers. There's no such thing as an online game that doesn't have hackers. While I am not saying that we should ignore this, I am saying that this is something that everyone needs to understand. The other issue which is compounding it is it the forums are turning into an echo chamber, where players basically think everyone is a hacker when something happens that they don't understand, which obviously is causing some people to quit the game. Donkey Crew has addressed the situation recently, and they have already banned hundreds of accounts while continuing to improve their anti-cheat software. Furthermore, they are taking a very harsh stance, which I think is absolutely great. That if a cheater is found in a clan, not only will they ban that player, but they will also wipe the entire clan's progression. With this type of measure in place, not only will it prevent clans from gaining benefit of cheaters, but it will also force them to police their own clan and get rid of them quickly before said player gets banned. All in all, I have to give Donkey Crew some credit. Every major issue that has come up, they have or are working on addressing it. They want their game to survive, and it definitely shows with the work that they are trying to do. Last Oasis is an early access game, which means it is already starting off at a disadvantage as many players either have a bad taste in their mouth for EA games, or they don't understand what a real early access game is. Another issue that they are facing is that not all of the content they have planned is in the game which is causing some issues such as larger clans picking on smaller groups because there isn't much else to do besides more territory claiming or not all crafting plans are in the game or even all the resources are in the game. There's many hurdles that LO is going to need to get over before it becomes smooth sailing for them. But I will say as a player myself, I am quite impressed with their communication, their desire to make the game fully functional, and their desire to make a survival game that all players enjoy. At the end of the day, I think LO is definitely worth a try for those players who are interested in these types of games, as it has much to do already. And I think if Donkey Crew continues to try and do what they are doing, they have a chance to make an amazing survival MMO. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Last Oasis. If you feel I left something out or want to provide your own opinion, let me know in the comments below. Also don't forget, make sure to smash that like button and tick that bell to get notified every time I release a new video. This is Zimmy with Support Gaming, signing off.